we're trying to make sure um, that everything is safe simply for the patrons and the businesses and their employees. As cold weather becomes the norm and indoor dining remains closed, restaurants are leaning on tents and heaters to keep customers coming. We understand that during the pandemic that we're doing desperate things in a desperate time. We understand that. James Hundley is a deputy fire marshal with Jefferson County Fire Services. He says inspections are showing that many restaurants and businesses are not following code. This includes makeshift tents. This tarp was, a, was put up around this area and it not only was the flammability issue, but it also closed off exits and, and ways for people to egress or get away from the building should there be a fire. Hindley says approved tents must be made of fire retardant material. That tarp's going to go up quicker than people can get up from their table, grab their belongings, children, whatever the case may be, and exit safely. The main concern officials are seeing heating devices inside tents. They create what we refer to as an open flame device within the tent, which is not permitted per the fire code in any way, shape, or form. Um, and then these, these are also fueled by either kerosene or propane. And this also creates a carbon monoxide issue. While Jefferson County Fire Services haven't responded to any calls regarding these issues, Hundley says tents and igloos continue to pop up and the risk only increases. You're not going to have minor burns as a result of something happening. If it did, you're, you're going to have some serious injuries. Alex Durham, WOKY News.